Take that, take that, take that. What up, baby? It's Dab here to DJ Nav, Hot97.com. You know what it is. We are, this is a Hot 97 exclusive. I got my man Mark. John Jeffries. John baby. Jeffries in the building who's playing who? I'm playing C, C. C. Leo. All right, we're on the set of Notorious 2009. Um, it feels good to be here. Um, how you doing? Everything's good? Yeah, everything is good, man. Just a little tired from all the performances, but we're doing our thing. Yo. Mean enough holding it down on the stage. I am a witness that my man got little C's down packed. Y'all gonna see. Wait till you see the movie. <laughs> January 09, baby. Nah, no, Ephraim, right? Yes. Oh! This is good, this is good stuff. Hey, Hot97.com with Derek Luke in the building who plays Sean Diddy Combs. What's up, Holmes? I'm chilling, I'm here with F. I mean, no, you know. Now you can say Ephraim, you can say Ephraim, it's all good. That's my gut, I'm proud. This is Ephraim, man. He said he likes Ephraim because why, tell him why. Because you know, it sounds, you know, like he's a serious, like a senator. Like a senator or something. Yeah, you know what I mean, yo. It's Ephraim Lopez. Listen, let me say. What's the most important part about playing Lil C's for you? I think um, the most important part that we really trying to capture is how Lil C's had nothing to do with Pac being set up. That's like the one moment of the movie where they really trying to stress. Because, you know, a lot of people feel that C's was involved in some way or tried to set him up. But we really focusing on that. And also to bring out the fact that he was a real cool cat. He was just a loving person, joked around a lot. Everybody pretty much liked him. And just trying to show the relationship that he had with Big. They were best friends and the connection that he had. I got my man Lil C's, the original Lil C's in the building. Yeah, I'm in the building. What up, A? What's going on, y'all? I mean, you tell me, player, player, how's it feel, man? You, I mean, you you are being played by a, a real performer, a real artist, man. Yeah, like, yeah, we're, yeah. We're a, we're, like, your story's being told, man. How's that feel? Oh, it's a good thing, you know what I mean? Because I'm still, you know, I'm active. I'm still young. To have somebody play me over at 30 years old, you know what I mean? Crazy, right? So it's a good feeling. I don't think it really hit me yet, but every day as I be on the set and I'm watching what's going down, I'm, I'm starting to feel it every now and then, you know what I mean? But it's a good thing. I definitely love what's going on right now. What's up, man? How you feeling? I mean, I got to, I got the blessings to hang out with you for two days uh, on the set of Notorious. You're playing, of course, Diddy, who's a very meticulous, you know, very... I don't, I, I don't I, yeah, 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 like this guy, yeah. Like, you know, he's real meticulous, and I think... Some of him may be me, you know what I'm Maybe. Saying? I shouldn't even say that, but some of him may be me in the sense. Listen, I'm seeing you perform and do your thing. You got this guy down packed. How'd you do that? Yo, I just love what y'all created. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hip hop baby. And you know, when I went to LA, man, I took y'all music to my heart to become an actor. Cause really every actor that's performing is really performing the music. What's the, what, what do you think the biggest message is, man, with this movie? You know, like, what do you think is gonna be the, the, the great outcome of this movie? The message that's gonna either clear things up or just make people feel a certain way about B.I. and of course the whole family? I mean, just to really show how big Willie was, how big treated his moms, how he treated his kids, how he treated his friends around him. You know what I mean? Like, he showed everybody a lot of love, you know what I mean? So I guess you're gonna see the in-depth personal side of Big that probably nobody else never saw, you know what I mean? Well, everything that was going on at that time, you. You couldn't really wear it out with the East Coast and West Coast thing. You're going to get a chance to really, you're going to push all that to the side. You get a chance to really see big life, big personal situations, see how he moved, see how he motivated, see how he talked, see how he came up with all them ill rhymes he did. And, you know, we're going to put it in the right perspective. I think it's going to be something good. What do you think is the biggest message this movie's putting out? Um, I think one of the biggest messages is that, you know, what I learned from Big is that, first of all, he was a dreamer. And he came into this world, you know, he did what he had to do. But over time, I, I, I think in this film, you see him, that he, he changes. And what I was so surprised, man, Big has such a huge heart, man. What he was gangster was with, what he was gangster in his heart. Exactly. So that's, that's love right there. We're exclusively backstage at the Hammerstein Ballroom live in New York City. We're filming Notorious, releasing uh, 2009. I got my man, the director, George. What's up? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, man. This movie is, uh, it's, it's been some good days, man. We had some great days and the audience is into it. I mean, we had about 1,500 people show up for the Juicy Warning concert yesterday. Yep. Got a chance to get DJ Enough here yes, yes, in the movie. Yes. So I'm really excited I say, about I, I that. I want to say honestly, thank Thank you very much oh, for that man. for that shot to play myself. And um, I know you don't do interviews really. And yeah. I want to say also thank you for this oh, to get the love. I love that. You know I mean, but for, for my audience who don't know like who you are and like, what kind of work you put out in the past, would you please let them know what kind of stuff I mean, you're I mean, in the past it's just been more dramatic stuff. I did Soul Food, the movie. I uh, produced the TV show, Soul Food TV show. Men of Honor with Robert De Niro, Cuba Gooding Jr. I directed that, Men of Honor. I produced Barbershop, Barbershop wow. 2. Wow. So back in the ham, being a director again, I went back. I want to do something that means something. That's right. And I found something, Biggie Small. 
Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. is my favorite artist of all time. That's right. And uh, we got a shot to get involved with this movie. Wayne Barrow, uh, Valletta Wallace, Miss Wallace got me involved, and I love the movie, man, and it's looking good so far. I'm here with a young lady by the name of Notori. Yes. It's not, look, listen, all day they've been calling you Notori. They've been calling me Notorious Notori. <laughs> everybody just kind of, probably because my name is similar uh -huh, to the name uh -huh, of the movie, uh -huh. so it's cool. Well, welcome, young lady. How you doing? I'm good. I'm happy to see you. It's good again. to see it's you. It's good to see you. I'm yes. Happy to be here. Now, you're playing the world famous Little Kim. Yes, I am, and I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels good. Honestly, I get a chance to show a different side of me, you right. know, be a little sexy, you know, and um, I get a chance to, to rap, which I've never done. So, you know, I'm, I come from the singing world. That's right. And here I am doing something totally different and shocking the world. So. And you definitely did your thing yesterday because uh, I got to see her on set yesterday. And you, homegirl, you got her moves down packed. What's the hardest thing um, about putting this movie together? I think the hardest thing is really trying to get the whole story in here, like everything, is so much story in here, right. so many people involved, and the hardest thing is really trying to keep that budget where we need it to be, <laughs> you know what I mean, the studio's keeping a hold on that budget, keeping it tight, but we've been doing a good job in telling the whole story, everybody can come out and be fulfilled, everybody can see what he was like when he was a young kid, what it was right. like when he was 17, what right. was he like on Fulton, what was he like as an artist, as right. a star, the relationship between him and Park, all that great stuff, and we're trying to show stuff that people do not know, who the man really is. On the set of Notorious, I been hitting you with exclusives all day long and today I'm with Antonique Smith. Hello. Hello, young lady. How you, How you doing? doing? I'm good. I'm excited. Now, look, if you guys could just look at her, I guess you guys can guess more or less who she's playing in Notorious. <laughs> and that's the, the world famous Faith Evans. How's that feel? Good. Oh my God. I mean, I mean, I'm, I don't even know what to say about it. I'm so excited. Right. It's now a you, dream come true. Is there something special about this movie that um, you think uh, the audience needs to know? I do. Um, I think what's special about this movie is to show more than just Biggie as the artist and, you know, it's to show him as a person mm -hmm. and it shows how much he was all about, you know, his family, his peoples, Brooklyn. He was always trying to bring his people in and connect them in and it just shows that he wasn't just an artist, he was a businessman starting Junior Mafia and putting people on. So I think people should walk away and say, you know what, just remember where you came from and always follow your dreams because he did and look at where Look at where it got a lot of people. Now look who we got here. What's going on? What's going on, man? Uh, are, are you gravy now or are you B.I.G. right now? Right now I'm B.I.G. How does it feel to play B.I.G.? Feels good. Feels good, man. What about any misconceptions about Faith Evans? Misconceptions about Faith Evans is that she married him for money and and for fame and she didn't. She told you that? First of all, yes. She told you that? Yes, and that was really important that we got that across in this movie. Um, she had more money than Biggie when they met, first of all. Okay. And yeah, because she was writing songs for like Mary J. Blige and Albie Shore, so she had more money than him. And, um, so, and she didn't even, he wasn't even really out when they first met. Juicy hadn't really come out yet. She married him for love. He was funny, and and, and and they fell in love with each other, and they got married, and I mean, you know, they loved each other. So yeah, so it wasn't what the rumors were in, in the 90s. What was the hardest thing for you to uh, portray in this role? Um, the hardest thing? I don't know, man. I mean, everything was kind of hard. Everything, I mean, you know, that's the king. I mean, is it, is it? How real is it for you? I mean, you're from Brooklyn. B.I. was from Brooklyn. There's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure for you. It's definitely a lot of pressure, but you know, B.K. Swagger's there. I was already rapping, so that was the easy part. The hardest part gets the cadence and the flow. Right. The breathing. The breathing, yeah. the breathing. Yeah, yeah the breathing. Right. I, I, I heard you brought your asthma pump out once in a while. Just, just to kind of like. Yeah, yeah, in one scene I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> D-Dot taught me about the breathing. Barrel let me know the cadence, right. and you know. That's cool. Real talk, before I even came on set, I had a talk with Mr. C. Me and Mr. C was on the phone for like 2 o'clock in the morning, and we talked about how how you guys are really, really nailing everything from the lookalikes to the way you guys are just performing and the movie. Um, how you feel about that? Yeah, man, we're just going hard. It ain't really too much about the look. A lot of dudes look like Biggie. It's about the swagger. It's about, you know, having that player mode. It's about being a ladies' man. It's about having his neck up, you know, mannerisms, vocal training. I mean, it's a lot. You know, I was six months in before I got the role. There it is. Y'all heard it, baby. Exclusive right here on Hot97.com. Y'all truly DJ enough to heavy hitter. It feels great to be a, a, amongst greatness, you know what I'm saying? And to trust me, this movie is going to be great, y'all. And I'm so happy to be a part of it, all right?